welcome to the Papal Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 14th, 2020. I hope you guys actually enjoyed the Trump's Greatest Fail videos I posted yesterday because there really wasn't much to actually report on. But today, the Senate and the House of Representatives are both back in session completely. And apparently there is a... Uh, Probably, it's called a Problem Solvers Caucus, which is basically 50 members of the House of Representatives, which is divided in half, which is 25, rep 25 Republicans and 25 Democrats that are all nominated to actually solve problems, including stimulus problems. And let's see here. Um, basically, what it is, is it these 50 members promise to vote together on many and any pieces of legislation. They get at least 75% support from the Problem Solvers Caucus and gets at least 51% support from Republicans and as well as 51% support from Democrats. And according to the uh, Stephen Mnuchin, the caucus is going to reveal their stimulus proposal later today. The Democrats are urging their leader, Nancy Pelosi, for an extension of unemployment and a second stimulus check. They've been doing that for how, how long now? Saying, hey, Pelosi, come on, give us a second stimulus check. Put out more unemployment. Even during the USPS bill or Delivering for America Act, as it was called, I don't know if that actually passed the Senate or not, but I know that the House of Representatives voted on that and it passed them, so I'm sure it's got to the Senate, but I don't know if it's passed it yet because it has a $25 billion bill for the USPS. The Republicans are putting together a bill on the President's executive order for the payroll tax deferral to make it so you don't actually have to pay it back, so it's forgivable. So you don't. So next year when it comes around, you don't have to worry about saying, "Yeah, well, you know what? I'm never gonna take out twice the amount of my Social Security and Medicare wages than I did before." So my check, my paycheck's gonna be smaller. As well as he's also passing a, uh, he signed on another executive order to lower drug prices. Okay, before you think drug prices, I'm not talking like methamphetamines or anything. Like that I'm talking about prescription narcotics. 117 Democrats in the House of Representatives sent a letter to Nancy Pelosi calling for her to basically accept the extension for unemployment benefits, but she refused. Wow, she sort of sounds like she's not Democrat. She sounds like she's more Republican than anything because Republicans have proven how they are really cheap. Both the Senate and the House of Representatives are, are in session as of today. And the president and on President Trump's executive order is to lower the price of prescription narcotics for senior citizens. So basically, he wants to dose the senior citizens. And if you haven't noticed, he, he also held a rally in what was it called Henderson, Nevada, where he basically violated the COVID 19 regulations of. How many people could be in, inside a certain place or around him in plus masks. Him and his supporters were in a small warehouse and Nevada's, Henderson, Nevada's rules were that they could only have up to 50 people at a time and in this warehouse there's probably well over 300 people and not a single one were wearing masks. And as we all know, President Trump believes that COVID-19 is a hoax Hence the fact that he did not report the problem to the United States when it originally happened back in February. In fact, he was basically too busy playing golf and screwing around and not caring about the American people. So when the COVID-19 became a bigger problem than it was back then, he tries to have, um, what was it called? Plausible deniability. Like, he, it wasn't his fault, or he's a, a victim of circumstance. And even to this day, our president believes that COVID-19 is a hoax. That is not really happening. Although, around the world, COVID-19 cases are still on the rise. Fatalities from COVID-19 are still on the rise. 
including here in the United States. I mean, let's see here. I, I haven't checked the current numbers because there's a lot of them. But I do know that we're, I think we had like, what, 39,000 reported on Sunday from John Hopkins of how many more COVID-19 cases are. And I think the fatalities went up as well by like 115 as well. And on that topic, let's get, let's hop onto the unemployment here. I'm actually going to put a map up on this side right here of all the states that are paying out for unemployment. All the states have applied or are waiting approval and what states are going to be paying out in what months. And as you noticed on my map that I put up there, it's all color coded to let you know what states are paying out, when they're paying out and how much, well, I, the uh, my previous map actually did the how muches, but I do know most states are only paying out the, the minimum amount of $300 a week for three to six weeks. There are a few states that actually will be paying the full amount of $400 a week for three to six weeks, depending on how much their budget allows them to do. And as you also realize, and I hope you actually like my little thing I did in the very beginning of my video, where I actually did a Star Wars type theme of the, the words scrolling up and back in the background. I thought I'd do that to add a little bit more definition to what I'm doing. And I hope my viewers enjoy that. So if you do, please drop me a comment. And even if you don't enjoy it, please drop me a comment so I can know this. So I can actually enhance my videos better. So I can actually get a greater viewing audience to make them more happier. So until next time, you guys have a magnificent Monday. Remember to stay safe out there. Put food in your stomachs if you can. Get sheltered because the elements are not friendly. And have a magnificent night. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow on any updates on the Problem Solvers Caucus and any solutions they may have come up with. This also includes any solutions that they have the Democrats from the House, Repub House of Representatives come up with or the Republicans from the Senate come up with. Until then, you be safe. Bye.